One of our favorite places to visit while in New River Gorge National Park is the abandoned town of Thurmond. We find it intriguing to walk through a town that was once a thriving boom town, but that is now just a shell of buildings. It sparks the poignant emotions and interest. We always stop to peer into the buildings through any window that is not covered and secured. We are always saddened to see the vandalism and destruction made by individuals that force their way into the buildings. While we do not condone their actions, we do use the opportunity to poke our heads and cameras into the open areas. This has been redone. On this visit, we were happy to see some restoration work on a building. Yeah, they've they've done a lot of somebody's done a lot of work on this. Yeah, I'm gonna read the sign, see if it says anything about it's a community volunteer project. Ah that's cool. It says, notice the structure is currently being restored as a community volunteer project in an effort to begin to refurbish the houses and buildings within the town of Thurmond. The town's volunteers are working to restore and preserve the history here for future generations to learn from and enjoy. Please do your part to help with these efforts by respecting all structures here, not vandalizing these innocent buildings that can't defend themselves against selfless individuals. But on this visit to Thurmond area, we were actually on a mission to find a church that we had missed before. I had stumbled on the First Baptist Church, an African-American church, while I was researching the well-known Union Church in Thurmond as a possible location for our elopement ceremony. When I knew that there was a church that I had missed near Thurmond that was still standing, I knew that I was going for a visit. So we're gonna start on the Rend Trail. And the Rend Trail is actually closed. It's about a four to five mile trail. About halfway down, apparently there is a bridge that has some structural issues. So you can only go about two miles down this way. And you can go to the other end and do the other two miles from the other direction. But we're gonna hike down here because apparently about a mile down the way, there is going to be a side trail that goes into an abandoned Baptist church an African-American abandoned Baptist church. So we're gonna go check this out, see what's there, and hike a little bit. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna to go to the church loop trail and check this church out. So I can see that the church is still standing. We're going to come up and we're going to be over top of it and we'll have to come back down around. The trail here, you can tell, is not used as heavily. So a lot of people don't know about this or don't come to it or whatever. So this is a true neat find in the woods. And we missed it both of our last two visits here to Thurmond. So I'm very happy to have found it today. Oh, this is neat. The black community near Thurmond and the various mines was actually thriving in the early 1900s. The coal mines provided a very fair wage and the growing black community experienced an accumulated wealth like they never had before. A small community of African Americans in Dunglen near Thurmond actually established an informal church by 1914 and the church kept growing. In the early 1920s, the church was given a property by the McKell family. This was a family that was one of the two families that originally owned the property in this area. The church community built the structure in the early 1900s. Let's go to the other side. Walking around the back. There were two windows that were not boarded over, and we were amazed to see the pews and church belongings still in place. 
One can only imagine the services, weddings, funerals, joy, despair, heartache, and happiness that took place here. Definitely, this was worth another trip back to Thurmond, and it was an easy hike. I don't know how we missed it the first two times, but I'm glad I did it this time. No excuses.